Okay, so somebody's asking, what is a heart well? Let me start from the beginning um, while people are coming in. So first and foremost, help you release negative trapped emotions that cause physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual discomfort. I believe that our organs create these emotions like balls of energy and they can become so strong to the point where they can actually cause a lot of physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual discomfort. So basically what happens is our body creates these emotions and they, they get overcharged and get stuck in your body. And then um, sometimes they can be so strong that it's like distort, distorting your tissues. I also believe that it can cause you to become very reactive, you know, quick to anger. And then I also believe it can put like pressure and stuff on different parts of your body, like your organs and stuff. So what I do is I use muscle testing, which is called, also called applied kinesiology. And I do everything remotely. And then I use, this is a chart, but it's also doubled as a magnet. Take the magnet and run it down the governing meridian, which is from the top of the lip all the way back down to the tailbone. And then we just release that we swipe it three times and then that releases that trapped emotion and that's pretty much all we do but the cool thing about this is that the heart wall is a whole nother story so when it comes to the heart wall i believe that like when we go through trauma or abuse or any kind of like crazy stressful times in your life i believe that our body has a self-defense mechanism energetically to protect your heart because your heart's the most important organ in the body so like i said i believe that these emotions can literally like create pain or discomfort for you and so like distort your tissues so what your body does is when those emotions are created it actually scoops up the motions and places layers over your heart creating this wall that's pretty much all it does we just and then over years and years of imbalances or trapped emotions and putting heart walls and all of that i believe that if you have a heart wall how do you know if you have a heart wall if you have any of these 10 symptoms then you probably have a heart wall anxiety depression ptsd low energy fatigue major health issues foggy mission in life relationship issues um so this is like giving and receiving love and then abundance and wealth issues so if you have any of those then you probably have a heart wall and so what i do is i basically release the heart wall emotion by emotion and then once that heart wall is all the way gone then those typical symptoms either go away completely or they become a lot more manageable so for the most people it becomes a lot more manageable but the occasional person they don't have to deal with those any of those symptoms ever again so unless obviously you go through a new trauma then that's something completely different but but I personally, like when I released my heart wall, it's almost like I felt like I broke a free from the judgments and obviously it wasn't perfect, but I felt I had a whole new perspective on life and it was amazing. And again, I'm just using process of elimination. It's just like a little crystal or like a necklace and it swings back and forth based on asking you questions. And then I will get you in for the next sesh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. I'm excited for your session. Me too. Yes. All right. So if you will tell me your information, name, age, pain, and pain level, I think you know what to do. So yeah, just let me know. Nikki. My name's Nikki. I'm 46. Pain level, say eight. <laughs> okay. And then pain or physical discomfort that we're working with. My heart or my knee? Which one hurts the most? Or is my, that- My heart, probably. Like your chest hurts or like- Like your, my heart. Your yeah, heart my hurts? Heart. Okay, yeah. okay, you know best. All right, let's go ahead and have a quick moment of silence and then we'll get started. <sighs> let's do this. All right, so Nikki, can I this proxy for you? So. Do you have a trapped emotion with release now that is causing your heart to hurt? Can you get on a one, three? Rejection. When did this reach 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, H5? Do we need to know more about this? Release that. To be released that. Do you have another emotion with release now that is causing your heart to hurt? Can you get on a one? Abandonment. When did this when did this pretend 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, age 17? Getting down to the nitty gritty here. <laughs> um, do we need to know more about this? Hello, hello. Let's go ahead and release that. Release that. You have another emotion can release now that is from that's causing the pain in the heart. Another one. Heartache. Which makes sense. When did this occur? 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7, 4, age 4. Do we need to know more about this? No. Let's go ahead and release that. Did we release that? Do you have another emotion we can release now? That is causing your, uh, causing the pain in your heart. Another one. Betrayal. 
when did this character 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so 46, 54, age 44? You doing okay? Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Betrayal at 44, like two ish years ago. Do you recognize that one? Yeah. <laughs> what? I love, your, I love your reaction. <laughs> I mean, it's just fucking wow. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Oh, let's go ahead and release that shit. <laughs> Did we release that? Do you have another emotion release now that is causing the pain in your heart? Maybe one, three. Grief. When did this person end? Nine, eight, age eight. We need to know more about this. Whew, I'm getting good chills on this one. That's awesome. You know, that makes sense. It makes sense? Completely. That's awesome. Let's release that. Release that. Another emotion release now that is causing um, the pain in your heart. One. Forlorn. Forlorn is like feeling lost, forsaken, or forgotten. So when did this occur? 10, 20, 20, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Age 16. I need to know more about this. Everybody's. You've got everybody's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't amazing. even want to I'm, I'm like, I, I'll tell you kind of one thing that happened like when you're done and okay. you're not even going to believe it. Okay. Do you want to say it right now or when the, when the session's over? I, I lost both my brothers eight months apart and my husband left me two months after that and I'm fucking foobard. I have not been able to heal from it at all losing my brothers like left me alone and just it, it makes me feel really broken Aww. so when you said when you was like wow I've got chills I was like well yeah that makes sense my brothers are on either side of you <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like Jesus wow <laughs> like you said grief and abandonment I was just like oh my god I get usually just get chills but my chills came all the way up to my face that's never happened before like <laughs> oh my gosh yeah i told you i said yeah that makes total sense <laughs> that is amazing yes everybody sending big hugs to her Thank oh you. my gosh you're so welcome yeah i've okay, been let's... I've, I've been researching like watching people do this on live and i have like been wanting somebody to talk to you so bad and you're just so accurate. It's it's freaky. <laughs> That's my favorite reaction. <laughs> <laughs> like my brothers just hugged you. <laughs> they sure did. They I sure know. did. Thank you oh, so much. You're oh so welcome. God. You know, it's it's so interesting. The the one thing that I've noticed with these sessions is sometimes having somebody else say what you feel like needs to be said is so validating that that's where the healing is. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, you can like tell people like how bad you're hurting, but like you're invisible. Like people are just like, don't get it. And it's just, like, I don't wish this pain on nobody. You know, I don't wish, yeah. I don't wish nobody to fucking have to bury their sibling. But when you lose them both and then you're, best friend leaves and you're just like what do I do like what and then COVID started just like oh my god like I get it. <laughs> and my dad's actually a doctor and I will see what I can do about working on him to, so you can <laughs> listen <laughs> I, mean, I, love... I don't know if you would do something like that because you know how they think Oh, for sure. I know how they are, uh, but that's the thing. I do know that a lot of doctors are very open-minded and, um, you know, I actually have family who is into the medical field and I do know some of them think that I'm a little crazy, but they are super curious. And that's why I continue to do this because I personally know it's worked. It's worked for me. It's worked. Up I love the super crazy and you were like so accurate. It's crazy. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> like even you felt my brothers like just <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Somebody, somebody said no. Really, my uncle is Brad Nelson. This is neat seeing people do this on here. I grew up with this. What? Okay. Listen. 
Dr. Bradley Nelson is amazing and I love everything that he's doing and he needs to get the, the belief code out a little bit quicker. <laughs> so that's awesome. That is so Thank cool. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can okay. do some more. So do you have another trapped emotion with your lease now that is causing your, um, the pain in your heart? Uh, one, three. Uh, rejection. When did this crash? 10, 20, 30, 6, 5. So it's age 35. Nikki, let's continue this. Nikki, do you have another trapped emotion for release now that is causing the pain in your heart? One. Love unreceived. Love unreceived is like putting forth your love out there and then not them not reciprocating it the way that you needed it or not being loved the way that you needed it. So when did this occur? 10, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, age 17. We need to know more about this. Let's go ahead and release that. And somebody um, said that there was a reason why I had to do one more. <laughs> I totally agree. All right, so Nikki, do you have another trapped emotion with release now that is causing the pain in your heart? Okay, go ahead and take some really big deep breaths. Give me a little shimmy, a little bit of twerking. <laughs> okay, but really do it. <laughs> Move your neck around, give me some Move your shoulders, yeah. some really big deep breaths. And then on a scale of one to 10, one being the lowest and 10 being the most severe. How do you rate your, the pain in your heart? Like two. Stop, are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh, from an eight to a two. That's a huge difference. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, after people driving down the road to start bawling, it's been horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Sabrina. No, thank you so much. And thank you, everyone that sent love, like, for real. You're amazing and you're beautiful. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> I know. Somebody says that she doesn't sound as anxious as before. It's true. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that That's is crazy. beautiful. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I would love um, a review if you do posts on TikTok. I would love that. Of if course. you could do that for me. Also, can I put this on my YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Yay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you That's have a wonderful awesome. night. Thank you. Bye bye, Nikki. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Guys, I had chills. I have never gotten so many chills in my life. Like all the way up my arms, all throughout my body, and like even up to my face. I've never felt them right here before. Like all the way, like chills, full body chills. I've never been able to touch so many people's lives in this way. So thanks to TikTok, I am able to use this platform and really give people a chance to heal like everybody deserves. But at least we were able to make a huge dent tonight. Just the ones on the surface that we released tonight were amazing, amazing. Okay, I need to get off TikTok. I have some things to do tonight. So thank you so, 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 so much for everybody that's here. Again, don't forget to follow me here on TikTok, on Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would make a huge difference to me. And if you would like to schedule a session, click on the link in my bio and click on the button that says schedule an introductory session. All of the people, I really appreciate every single one of you and I hope you guys have a fabulous night. Bye!